Nah, they got banned him for life. I think he should be banned for life just because of the fact that he could have really killed him with, like, if he is using the steroids, he could have really killed him. So I think he should be banned for life. Shakur Stevenson, keeping it about as real as you can keep it for a professional fighter on Garcia versus Haney. Let's talk. Sometimes all it takes is a little bit of honesty to get mixed in when you have some questionable circumstances, as was the case with the outcome of the fight between Devin Haney, WBC junior welterweight cha champion, when he took on Ryan King Rai Garcia and lost a majority decision after being dropped three times in the fight that was still a close fight taking away the knockdowns Ryan didn't do very much to really secure the fight outside of the knockdowns but Shakur Stevenson is one who was asked and who has been on the rival side of Devin Haney was responding in all sincerity with the fact that knowing Ryan and knowing Devin, he's had experiences in the ring with both through sparring and what have you, competing. He understands the limitations of a fighter. And he also understands when a fighter has something a little extra going on. Now, to hear him say what he said in the opening of this video just kind of puts a stamp on things. But he also intimated a few other mentions regarding Ryan. And it can't be denied that even a professional fighter like Shakur could be honest. And what really makes this interesting is I believe that he understands that this can happen to him. Words from Shakur himself. Man, that shit just don't look right just because of the fact that Ryan punch hard. He do punch hard. But it was like certain punches that wasn't that hard. Like, they will be, like, close. He wasn't getting no leverage, no power on the shot. It was just, like, certain times he'd be like, boom. And then Devin will fall, and I'm like, damn, that ain't even look like a super hard shot. So looking back on it, like, if I'm judging Basin off the fight, then yeah, like it looked like Ryan definitely was on something. I must admit, given hearing Shakur give this type of assessment of what he witnessed, really makes me look at him a bit differently, though I haven't totally changed my thoughts about him. But it lets me know that he, is at, he at least can be sincere when it comes to making an assessment with something in which it doesn't involve himself but I can tell that he's placed himself in the shoes of and see that's where the dishonesty and the being disingenuous comes from an assortment of professional fighters who have weighed in on the circumstances surrounding Haney versus Garcia and put them in a very unfavorable light and also they lose respect when it comes to someone who really understands the sport from the inside out not from the outside looking in and so when Shakur adds these sentiments it places a different set of values on the experience in its totality totality I believe that many fighters do feel like what Shakur offered during this interview that he did with Say Cheese. And I'll tell you something, shout out to Say Cheese, but the interview places him in a specter where he's speaking frankly. And I can appreciate that. This is not biased. This is not he throwing stones. 
he's actually witnessing a little more that he had to say. That's a night that you gotta win. Like, you gotta realize, being at the high level, right? I don't watch Floyd Mayweather. I don't watch Pernell Whitaker. I don't watch Terrence Crawford. I don't watch them all get booed before. Like, literally all of them. Even Terrence Crawford, he's one of the most dynamic, offensive, power punchers, best finisher, one of the best finishers in boxing. I done seen him get booed before several times, right? Some nights, it's, it's okay. It's okay to be boring. It's okay to have that. You feel me? Like, and people may hate me for saying that, but I'm not an every night boring type of guy. I'm excited on a lot of nights. And see, with that, what Shakur is offering is the fact that Devin fought to try to please the fans. He gave the type of effort where he knew that he had to get his get back. He didn't think about winning the fight. He thought about getting at Ryan and doing something back to him instead of the overall landscape of you might not look good this time, but win this time, look good next time as uh, the legendary coach Georgie Benton used to like to say. So Shakur's assessment of this is spot on. And as he said, he can win the fight without trying to get or gain the respect of the fans because the fans are fickle. They'll turn on you day and night. It happens all the time. However, when you win, it may not be pretty. You may have to do tactics like tie a guy up, kill the clock, punch, get out, punch, tie up, punch, move, all sorts of tactics to help get you through the rounds. And with someone who is not as confident and secure in their abilities, which is Ryan Garcia, and also why he took banned substances. He's looking for an edge. He's looking for assistance. Whereas someone like Devin went into this fight with the confidence of knowing that he was the better fighter. With the confidence of knowing that Ryan was not necessarily on his level. But the substances that he tested positive for helped him get to a level and also with him not depleting himself to make the weight limit of the WBC junior welterweight title, Ryan had the advantages, all of the advantages, and Devin still came through like a champion. Salute to Shakur Stevenson. Salute to the mighty LDBC and Liberated Perspective, a third eye view of the world. For more content such as this, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. This is Stormy B-Man. Peace to everyone out there. And everyone, please remain safe.